So hello and thank you for having us here today. Uh, my name is Chris Carrisbrick and I'm the Sales Director for Sectra here in the UK. I've been closely involved in the Northern Ireland project in my entire 10 years here at Sectra. In that time, I even spent several years as the Northern Ireland Account Manager. I have a clinical background. I was a radiographer, but I have spent almost the last two decades on the corporate side of the industry. So it's really exciting to be here today. We have globally here one of the most exciting projects that we are working on to provide a truly integrated diagnostic service for the province, enabling you guys, the caregivers and diagnosticians, the tools to revolutionise cancer care here in Northern Ireland. And it's my pleasure to spend the next 10 minutes or so bringing you up to speed. First of all, who are Sectra? Well, we're medical imaging company whose primary goal is to increase the effectiveness of healthcare and deliver future-proofed medical imaging IT solutions. And I think that our history over the years with Northern Ireland is the living embodiment of that ethos. Some 12 years ago, and I will touch on this in the next slides, we helped to produce tangible and demonstrable benefits to the patients of Northern Ireland. But then, over the years, the service has continued to grow and evolve, incorporating images produced from a variety of departments outside of the borders of radiology. We are now extending that reach into the pathology service, ensuring and demonstrating our ability to deliver those future-proof solutions. But it wasn't always all about medical imaging. Back in 1980, we were a pure cybersecurity operation, providing secure transmission sector of data for several government and military agencies internationally. Today, that heritage is proving to be extremely complementary as our healthcare systems continue to evolve on their digital journeys. Back in 1988, Torbjorn Crenanda founded the medical side of our business by leveraging our technology to develop an algorithm to enable one of the world's first te teleradiology services delivering images digitally to a network of radiologists located around Sweden. Fast forward to today, Sectra are delivering comprehensive imaging IT solutions to healthcare providers globally and products and services for secure communication and critical infrastructure, Northern Ireland being one of the jewels in Sectra's medical crown. Now the pathology solution that we're talking about here today is built upon the Sectra Enterprise Imaging Platform that has been awarded best in class for seven consecutive years. Now this is something that we are incredibly proud of because it's something that no other vendor in this space has ever achieved before and something and it's very much a tradition that we intend to continue. Sectra has been fortunate to work with early adopters around the globe, in fact. Our installed base is growing and we now have customers in the US, about 10 European countries, Israel, Korea, and about half of all the Swedish healthcare regions use Sectra packs for pathology. Other countries on the forefront of digitization include the UK and the Netherlands, with use cases including primary diagnostics, consultations, QA programs, and there is a mix of limbs and packs driven workflows. But to get a true understanding of the pathology service that is in the process of going live here in Northern Ireland, it is important to spend a few moments looking at what you currently have in imaging here in Northern Ireland. Brendan Devlin, the gentleman pictured here, radiologist, which, and his team were truly pioneering back in the early noughties and had a vision to revolutionise diagnostics for the region by thinking big. The scale of the thinking is big even by today's standards, let alone back then. And in essence, the NIPAC's vision sought to provide a virtual radiology department with full availability of images and reports to whomever and whenever they were needed. All stakeholders, irrespective of location, needed to be able to access the full record, irrespective of where that data was acquired, thus improving service quality and reducing clinical risk. And we're happy to say that very quickly after delivery, those figures bore out the goal with massive improvement in report turnaround and MDT efficiency seen. Now here's a slightly out of date um, image of, of, of the Northern Ireland infrastructure. As I said, it's very large and complex, but this complexity is completely transparent to the end users who have come to simply expect the images to be available with the click of a button, which of course is as it should be. Um, 
But just to dive into some of the numbers here, um, Northern Ireland currently produces about 1.5 million radiology exams annually spread across five trusts or 27 uh, disparate sites to provide a virtual radiology department across the province, which is tightly integrated into the upstream and downstream systems such as the EPR, the IUVO GP system, PAS systems, for example. And the ubiquity of the system is clear to see when you see that we have over 9,000 registered users currently logging on and relying on the services that NIPAX provides. So what we have is a true interconnectivity between all stakeholders for the benefits of patients and the caregivers alike. Giving that immediate access to imaging wherever you are. Now, the imaging infrastructure in Northern Ireland has been the envy of many healthcare economies over many years. But of course, the jigsaw is never quite finished. We are never quite satisfied and nor is the authority. Over time, the service has, of course, been expanded to include other ologies, breast, radiology, cardiology, uh, medical photography, for example. But right now, we believe that the missing imaging piece in delivery of efficient cancer care is the digitization of pathology. And I wonder what the next missing piece will be. Genomics, perhaps, population health, all of which are very much on the agenda. But here today, we are in the delivery process of a solution that we believe will provide a true integrated environment for diagnostics. But once the service is digitized, we are able to um, incorporate workflows such as what you see on screen right now. Concordance workflows highlighting discordance between the radiology and the pathology diagnosis in advance of the MDT, meaning that biopsies can be reordered prior to the MDT, even taking place where discordance has been spotted. And just to give you a sense of scale of the pathology part of the project, this project involves a production of over 130,000 exams annually with integration to four different LIMS providers with a huge amount of data production, all seamlessly linked to provide a virtual pathology department across the province. Your subspecialist will have access to imaging according to specialty, not limited by organisation boundaries, nor the location of the physical slide. And whilst all of this is undoubtedly a massive undertaking, we are standing on the shoulders of giants here. BSO and the Trust have spent many years taking advantage of the technology that they invested in and have built on that solution. This means that the enterprise features that ensure a secure, highly integrated environment can be leveraged immediately by pathology without having to re reinvent the wheel at a departmental level. This massively reduces the IT burden for the service. Things like audit logging, authentication and integration to upstream and downstream systems need to be done just once at that enterprise level. I put this cross-discipline, cross-organisational enterprise features together and you have yourself an infrastructure that is truly patient-centric. For example, breast screening acquired at one location, symptomatic imaging then performed elsewhere, treatment and follow-up at a regional specialist centre, with MDTs performed with stakeholders from several locations simultaneously, all made simple by the breadth of the service provided by NIPAX meaning that our MDTs become much more efficient and we move towards an organ orientated workflow. Now, of course, we know that the information is no use to anybody without a seamless integration to the EPR, and that is something that we focus very clearly on. Results being made available to primary caregivers through a reliable mechanism is key to delivering efficient care. And the reverse is also true our pathologists and radiologists can be given access to a massive amount of data that resides in the EPR automatically through customizable web content views in the application, meaning that this data can be accessed within the patient context without having to log into multiple systems simultaneously. And here is one such example of how imaging and reports is made available to users of the EPR. The lines are blurred between the EPR and the PACs with imaging seamlessly served up to the application via a zero footprint viewer, otherwise known as UniView. And again, this web viewer supports all image types contained within the system. 
here, case in point, is a, um, a potential melanoma case um, viewed with the macro images as well as the micro. But back to the pathology workflow for a moment. With a digital workflow, glass slides can be eliminated after the point of digitization. The piles of glass trays are not needed to be handed out as a trigger to workflow. Today, that is the work list. Where work can be allocated efficiently according to specialty, location, location, urgency, or any number of other factors. And here on screen, you see that pathologists will be presented with all of the information relevant to the case within a single web-based interface using the most performant viewer on the market in the most integrated of environments. Obviously, being digital, you have a plethora of digital tools at your disposal. Simultaneous viewing of slides side by side with automated registration of stains, for example, from the same block, zooming and panning together for easy comparison. The use of an extremely ergonomic input device and easy creation of annotations. Great quality checks such as the coverage heat map to provide assurances that you have properly reviewed the images. Quality can be further improved through a comprehensive suite of collaboration tools, again helping to drive up quality and efficiency, leverage the scarce pathology expertise at your disposal. And here we have an example conversation between, say, a radiologist and a pathologist prior to a um, MDT. And we can even extend this concept into screen sharing sessions with colleagues and peers for added collaboration opportunities. Now, once your second opinions have been sought and your annotations and observations have been made, then it is a single click or two to assign that case to the relevant regional MDT, where attendees, follow-ups, et cetera, can all be collected and logged for perpetuity and audit. And the same goes for um, um, uh, teaching cases, which can be easily tagged for future reference uh, for teaching sessions or, or simple revision or reminders of, of, of interesting cases that have gone before. Now, of course, Sectra also utilised within our AI within our solution through our own in-house de development, but also through the incorporation of third parties via standards based integrations. And here on screen, you can see one such example, KI67 um, image analysis. And with automated selection of positive and negative cells and a human in the loop um, verification step, really driving that efficiency um, and, and, and driving the quality um, of the reporting process. There's lots of future opportunity as well. Here's one just, just one example with the mapping of the histopathology images together with the macro images for additional reporting benefits. So thank you all for listening. I appreciate that that was very brief. It was a very short overview of the services that Sectra are providing to Northern Ireland within the context of the enterprise image management solution. All in all, I hope you'll agree, the integrated nature of the way that we manage imaging within the Sectra system has a massively positive impact on patient care and outcomes. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.